Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your computer teacher Priya Kara. Hope you all are doing great. So let's start today's video. But before it, you have to like the video and make sure that you all are the subscriber of my channel to get the notification about new videos. So let's start today. Student, today I am going to explain you chapter number 6, Images and Links. In uh, today's tutorial, we are going to discuss image tag and its all attributes. Okay, so let's start today's video. Inserting image. You can add picture or graphics to a web page in addition to the text. Now in the previous tutorial, we have learned that how to add text, okay, in body tag, how to write all the tags. Oh, all attributes so uh, and how to add table but in today's uh, tutorial we are going to learn about that how to insert image image tag is used to insert image which tag image tag it is very important you always remember this image tag is used to insert image syntax of image tag student it is very very important img src is equals to url this src is most important src is most important attribute of the image tag because if the other tags are not there it's okay the image will be insert in the screen but if src is not there the path of the image is not there so it will never appear on the web page so under the image tag the most important attribute is src src means source Source means it will show the path or the file name from where we want to insert the page. Now you must give the complete path or URL of the image to be inserted in the SRC attribute. So uh, student the syntax is clear to you IMG SRC is equals to URL. Now we are going to dis discuss all the attributes of image tag. Image tag contains five most important attributes the first one as i have already told you src contains path or url of the image after this student height and width attribute they used to set the size of the image it means this attribute will decide the width and height of the attribute if you will not apply this then the image can cover the whole web page so just to reduce the size or uh, we can increase size also it depends on the user requirement we can set the size of the image now align attribute alignment you have already done in excel and uh, powerpoint uh, and in um, word also so align attribute is basically used to position the uh, image over the web page okay with the help of align, align attribute you are able to position the image uh, different type of align, alignments are there like top, bottom, left, right, middle. So according to requirement you can use border. Border is used to display border around the image. Okay, it will uh, a thick or thin dark line will appear around the image. Alt attribute is used to add alternative text. It means like sometime due to some uh, wrong um, URL or if our file name is not correct correct so our image will not appear on the web page so at that time the area will be blank okay so just to avoid that blank area we can use alt text okay that is called alternate if the image will not appear so that alternate text will appear on the screen like if you want to add an image of flower okay but Due to some reason due to wrong path the flower image is not coming on the web page so in the alt attribute you can write flower so in that place f l o w e r that text will appear so hope and uh, your student you understood all the attributes of image tag once again i am repeating src height and width align attribute border and the last one is alt okay now student let discuss a small program of image tag okay how to insert image you can see this program you know that we need a text editor like i am using notepad so student you can see 
the first tag is html after that head you know these are the basic tags and you have to use it after that title title is not mandatory it's up to you if you want to use so you can use it in title you can give the title of that of your program like i have written inserting image after that body tag because inside the body tag only we will write all the important tags so after body you can write img img stands for image under it you can use all the attributes like one by one i can show src src is used to give the url or the path of the image after that height and width like i have given 50% 60% it ups to you you can use 60% 80% according to your requirement then i have used border border in border you can write number i have written 5 you can write 4 6 also then align you know that in the align there are different options also like you can use top bottom left right middle i have used left alignment and then alt alt is used for the alternate text if the image will appear then this alternate text will not appear if the image will not appear due to some reason then only this alternate text will appear on the web page after that you can see the body title head and html all are container tag why because we need to close it also you can see i have closed body here then head tag then html but have you noticed one thing that image tag i have given but i have not closed it why because image is a empty tag it's not a container tag so whenever you are giving image tag no need to close it okay student now let's see the output of this program you know that after this you will save it with the dot html extension and then when you will run over the web page this type of result will appear output will come okay you can see student the image is coming on the left side and the border is also there around the image so this is your output this is the program and which i have shown you that was the output so i hope student you understood the all the important text or, or text of image attribute and this program also so those who are having computer they can practice it those who are not having they can watch the videos and understand the topic still having any problem you can ask in webex class or you can write in youtube chat box also comment box i will reply shortly till then take care goodbye